ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today, with Black Friday right around the corner, uh, let's talk about some CPUs and sort of the best CPU for each of the three main categories I like to break it down to, which are sort of your entry level CPU, your best value CPU, and of course just the best performing CPU, you know, where value and price doesn't matter. So I think these three categories are the ones that most people could fit themselves into one of them. You know, the entry level guys, they're just looking for something cheap to get them in the door on PC gaming. The value for money guys are, you know, still money conscious, but they want that CPU that just gives you really good performance for your dollar. And then there's the people that are maybe earning a bit more, have a bit more money to spend, and they're not so much worried about the value side of it. They're just looking for a straight up performance. And so I think most of you guys could figure out which category you would be in. Now before we jump into it super quick, I just want to say that Price Buy, they have a website and an app on the phone that you can use this on iOS and on Android. They have a feature called Price Alert, and I think this is particularly useful right now. When something goes on special or the price drops suddenly, it'll give you an alert. And that's really good with all these specials about to happen. Some of them are already happening now. So if you're watching a specific CPU maybe or a GPU and then suddenly a certain you know retailer or something drops that price down, suddenly it goes down in price, goes on special. It gives you the alert the alerts, so you can go and get it straight away. Because oftentimes something goes on special, you go, wow, that's an awesome deal. Go to head over and it's already out of stock and you're like, oh, why? So <laughs> I know, I've been there, I feel that pain. So it's a really handy feature. I'll leave some links in the description so you guys can check it out further if you're interested. Anyways, let's start off with the best sort of budget, the best uh, entry level CPU to get you in the door. And this just, there's basically no contest really. It has to go to the Ryzen 3 2200G. For the price this is coming in at, and it's gonna, you know, depend on which country you're in and where you look, but I've, I've looked in a bunch of different, you know, regions around the world, and this just seems like the best value to get you in the door. Uh, it comes with an inbuilt GPU that does a good job. Yeah, it uh, actually does a good job. Comes with the Wraith Stealth Cooler, which is uh, it's only okay, but you can still do a little bit of overclocking. Bring that GPU speed up from about 1100 megahertz, maybe get up to like 1300 or something like that. You can do a little bit, and that'll give you a good bump in FPS. And you'll find if you can turn up that uh, GPU speed just a little bit, then the 2200G, as I found in my showdown, uh, will match a stock 2400G in many games. And the 2400G, because it runs a lot hotter, uh, that doesn't have the kind of overclocking headroom you get with the 2200. I just think it's a really, really good CPU. Intel has nothing that can really match it. Uh, it's a very good value. Then, you know, maybe you just get that, and then later on you can get a GPU, pair that with it. That's quite good as well. And if you can, I would advise that uh, try find yourself a cheap cooler to go with it. Maybe just like the cheapest 120 millimeter air cooler you can. This is if you're comfortable with overclocking because then you can really get the most out of that 2200G. You can turn up that GPU speed, turn up the CPU, and that'll be a, a little rocket, really. It's a very powerful CPU for the price it comes in at. Once you overclock it with a cheap little 120 millimeter air cooler, that's a powerful little package you have there for not much money. So the 2200G is definitely my entry level pick. Next, we have the value for money CPU. This is something that uh, I've sort of this one's probably the most difficult out of all of them because there's quite a few. I wouldn't say with the ninth gen launch, I mean, I just can't really say that any of the Intel lineup, maybe like the 9400, 9500, I guess. But for right now, I just think it has to go to AMD still. Um, and this sort of ties in with the 2200G as well. The previous generation, the 1600 was definitely the best value. Came with the good cooler, the Wraith Spire. Um, you could just overclock it up and it would match the 1600X. So you may as well just bought the 1600. With this new generation, with the Ryzen 2, the 2600 comes with an inferior cooler. And because of that, I would say, and which does limit the overclocking potential of it, I would just have to say the 2600X would be the one I would pick. 
that is for the main reason of one you if you're not interested in overclocking which a lot of you guys are not interested in it or don't feel comfortable with it you can just put the 2600x in and it goes you know fairly high straight out of the box it's usually like 4.25 sort of is the area it likes to go up to straight out of the box comes with a good cooler race fire you don't have to worry about that temps will be fine with that and if you still want to do some overclocking with it you can i would say you would only really see the benefits there if you're doing productivity stuff also maybe you see a slight benefit in gaming but not much that's the one i would go for you can make the argument for the 2600 as well but personally i feel that the 2600x would be the better one to go for now what how it ties in with the 2200g is that you can run both of these cpus or you could upgrade from the 2200g to the 2600x uh with just like a b450 motherboard get yourself a cheap good b450 maybe you get your 2200g because that's all you can afford at the time and then maybe in six months uh you upgrade yourself to the 2600x i have a friend that's actually just done this you know it's changed from the the lower end ryzen 3 up to a ryzen 5 and so I think that's the what's quite good about the, the AMD CPUs right now is the B450 motherboards are quite cheap too. So it gives you that upgrade path, which is really nice. But yeah, my best value one right now, I, I would just have to say, is the 2600X. But this one is, is quite contentious. So I'd like to know in the comment section down below, what CPU do you think is the best value one right now? Because this one is definitely <laughs> the most amount of people saying, well, it's this or this. But personally, from my testing and everything else, I just have to say it's the 2600X. And then we get to the sort of, you know, just the best performing CPU. And this one's really, really easy. It's the Intel i9-9900K. Is it good value for money? No. <laughs> Does it run hot? Yes. Does it come with the cooler? No. It's not good value. It uses a ton of power as well, and it runs hot. But... It is extremely powerful, and it's the best CPU you can have right now for gaming. That's just it. 8 cores, 16 threads, uh, 5 gigahertz out of the box. That will be its sort of boost speed, but it'll, it never dips below 4.7 uh, in normal usage. And most of the time it likes to hover around between 4.7 and 5 gigahertz anyway. You turn on multi-core enhancement, and it'll set at 5 gigahertz on all 8 cores all the time. Now... You know, remember that you need a good cooler because <laughs> it does run hot even at stock speeds. But um, yeah, this is something that I think the the ninety nine hundred K is a very good CPU. I like it, and I run in my personal rig just because it's so powerful uh, and it's so good for gaming. But if I was going out there to buy a CPU myself, it would be one that I would have to question. You know. Uh, Am I comfortable with something that isn't particularly good value for money, but it's just got that extremely good performance? The equivalent to this in the GPU world would be the 2080 Ti. It's extremely powerful, but it also isn't very good value and it costs a fortune. So that's what I would say for that one. And it's pretty clear. The advantage the 9900K has over the 2700X is quite large, but the 2700X is still the better value CPU, but in pure performance, yeah, it's the 9900K. So I wanna know in the comment section down below, do you agree with my list? Which ones would you change? I think most of us could all agree that the best value entry level, uh, the best entry level CPU would be the 2200G. I guess some people could make the case of the 2400G, sure. Uh, the value for money one, that's definitely a, a difficult one to pick. But the best performing one, again, I think most of us could agree that when you put money aside, it is the 9900K. So it's really only that value for money one that I feel like a lot of you guys could maybe have different opinions on that one. But I'd like to know in the comment section down below. Now, I thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.